What is up YouTube? Okay, right now my truck is running on E85. I just filled it up probably three to four days ago. I'm already down to a quarter of a tank. It eats up this stuff. But my buddy, he has HP tuners. He just got it uh, probably a month ago, I guess. He's been messing around with it. He's the one that has that Camaro in one of my previous videos, the one that he kicked my ass in in a race. So, um, but I, I texted him because he I saw it on Snapchat actually that he had HP tuners. I texted him seeing if I could use his uh, software to check the duration percentage of uh, my injectors running wide open throttle just to see how much room I have whenever I do switch to 85. And uh, whenever I went to go get my transmission retuned, I was asking the tuner there um, about E85 switching to it or whatever. And he was saying that I have to get bigger injectors. But it just seems logical because E85 uses 30 to 40% more fuel than just regular gasoline. So I, I, I believed him for a little bit. But I was always a little skeptical because I know when I was looking at uh, superchargers like a Pro Charger and the E Force by Edelbrock, uh, they said if my truck had. Oh, also, when I was doing the cam swap, they said if my truck was flex fuel that I was good to go, like I didn't have to get bigger injectors or a bigger fuel pump because yeah, I was 85 capable, so that means it came with bigger stuff already. But it feels like I gained around 80 horsepower, 85 horsepower at the crank, so it's probably possibly running around 400. So I would think that just that much gain, I should be in the clear for 85. But he said no. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to look into bigger injectors if I just want to run 85 and run a lot cleaner and not leave a bigger carbon footprint. So I messaged my buddy to see if I could use his uh, HP tuning software just to check the duration of my injectors. And uh, with regular gasoline as it was, I was only at 68% at the peak and it only hit there once. And it was just like the very peak of it, so it was fine. So I went ahead and I just filled up with the 85. Like I said previously in the video, I'm only at 60% ethanol in my gas tank right now. So it's not uh, the 100% E85. So that still leaves me some extra room just in case I max out my injectors. So I just wanted to see uh, what it was like as like a slowly ramp up to E85. So we went again and uh, I did a pool. Uh, we looked at all the parameters. And then we saw that I was at 88% and that was the maximum um, duration. So that's okay. Usually, typically it's like 90% below safe. So 88% on 60% ethanol, that's not too bad, I guess. So when I go fill it up with 85% ethanol, hopefully it doesn't max it out. It shouldn't, but I'm hoping I run around 93 to 95% duration, which is not safe. Um, but for that duration, just to be at the very peak of the pool at the RPM, I think it's okay just for a little bit. I do want to get bigger injectors just to be on the safe side. But as far as daily driving ethanol, I think I'm, I think I'm okay because I don't dog it all the time. I know sometimes I floor it here and there. Uh, to get into traffic, get on the on-ramp, whatever, or just to mess around. But as far as just cruising, it's not going to max out. I'll be fine with that. But why did I switch to 85? Uh, I guess I just wanted the truck to run cleaner. Uh, I also wanted to see if I could save some money off of it. I know the difference in the fuel right now is uh, 85 is 188 and 93 is 239 a gallon I believe so if I stay around the 20 to 25 percent average uh, mileage lost which is average because it differs uh, between the vehicles then I should be in the safe zone as far as saving money or spending the exact same on either fuels Am I gaining any horsepower? Uh, probably not. I mean, I, I am because uh, E85, it runs cooler in the intake. It uh, burns cooler. 
if that makes any sense because it's like fire so it's not cool but it also it also has an octane rating of 105 208 depending on who makes it or what kind of blend you have so you can advance your timing a little bit run more compression and naturally aspirated is usually a 5 to 10 percent increase in horsepower uh, running 85 which typically around 10 percent increase is what you can feel in your butt dyno so is it worth it for horsepower gains for natural aspirated probably not and um, that's what i'm not using it for i'm using it more because it burns cleaner at the moment hopefully if i do get force induction for this truck so like turbocharged or uh supercharged i can see an upwards of 30 percent increase in horsepower just from switching the fuels and of course i'll have to probably get a bigger uh, fuel pump and bigger injectors and whatnot but that much power just from switching fuels is insane and so with that if you're running a turbocharger supercharger it's definitely worth it to switch to 85 in my scenario i can feel a difference and maybe placebo because i mean uh, just imagine getting your first cold air intake you thought like you felt a difference but in reality you didn't really gain any horsepower at all so like when i got this thing cammed oh it was night and day on the difference um it, it was the fastest thing i've ever driven because before that i had a 98 jeep cherokee and that thing was a dog like the top speed was probably 80 miles an hour it was nothing compared to this thing and this thing is pretty slow too but do i can i feel that difference just switching to the 85 no not at all uh, i do feel a little bit more torque on the low end um I remember I ran 85 for like one tank of gas when I was completely stock and I could it would like spin the tires on takeoff but when I had on, on gasoline it wouldn't do that it's probably the extra torque you gave me in the lower rpms but as of right now there really is no difference as far as power output is what I can feel I probably gained like 5 to 10 horsepower nothing major if I were to tune in I'll definitely see a little bit more increase but right now it's not tuned for it it is my truck did come stock with flex fuel so the truck uh, does add a little bit advanced in the timing so basically it tunes for it but I can add a little bit more and it won't hurt anything but low end I can definitely feel it it's nothing major like don't don't get me wrong like it's minute differences uh, top end I don't feel it at all it's basically just low and cruising i know cruising on the highway it takes less effort and i found that out too when it was when the truck was completely stock and i put 85 in it that uh i still had the um the displacement on demand and so when i was cruising and with regular gasoline it would switch on and off switch on and off like four cylinder to eight cylinder four to eight but with 85, I noticed that it had enough power uh, just in cruising RPMs to keep it in four cylinder mode for a while. Like I could just cruise right now and it would just be four cylinder mode, which is cool because theoretically I'll be getting better gas mileage, but anytime I went to eight cylinders, uh, it just went down. So I, I ended up losing gas mileage, of course, but I, I thought it was cool to actually see the difference of power just because it was able to keep the truck cruising with the four cylinders on but i think that sums up my rambling i probably left out quite a few things if you have any questions leave it in the comments my videos are not scripted so i just talk like i said in my last video so if i left anything out just let me know if you want to know anything let me know so the comment sections are for if you like 85 give it a thumbs up if you think it's some total bs well then i guess give it a thumbs down because it still does me good if you give me a thumbs down so it's whatever but thanks for watching the video up next i'm going to be doing a video about how i install my light bar behind my grill if you want me to do that one promptly then comment in the section below that you want me to do a video like now basically uh, but that's the next video after that 
Uh, I'll probably do a walkthrough on the truck. Nothing major. So just stay tuned for that. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all next video.